What's up everybody? As you can see by the title of the video, I'm about to head out for a weekend fishing trip. Uh, taking my buddy Josh, we're going down to Bugs Island Lake in south end of Virginia, which is actually the John H. Kerr Reservoir, but apparently us Virginians like to call it Bugs Island Lake for some reason. Maybe I'll try to figure out why and let you know later. Uh, but I am still on the old camera right now. Um, this camera still films, but the screen's busted. So I decided after about five years of using this camera that it was time to go ahead and upgrade. So I went ahead and picked up the Sony ZV-E10 4K edition. It's a little bit bigger. I'll show you the two cameras side by side in a second, but I want to show you the quality difference between these two cameras. This camera that I've been on for the last five-ish years uh, just does 1080, so that's pretty good, but it's not as good as it could be. So I'm going to see you in full 4K here in just a second. Bam. Should be a little bit of a jump in quality for you guys. <laughs> I've done a little bit of testing so far with this camera before I actually started filming this video. So I'm going to do my best to make sure all the audio and video settings are pretty dialed in. I think I've done that already. But uh, once I edit this video, which I obviously haven't done yet, we'll see if I need to make some more adjustments. But for now, we're freaking on a brand new camera. Go into my phone now for a second to show you guys these two cameras. So obviously the old Canon on the right, which has the shutter has been like that for probably a year or so, or the lens cover rather. Um, when you turn it on, it obviously opens up. But you can see the body of the cameras are pretty similar, but we've got a substantially larger lens on the new Sony and the lenses are actually replaceable or swappable, interchangeable, etc. So you can use different lenses on that camera. And I think the reason this one failed is because the screen pivots up and this little this little thing right here I think is what is basically sending signal to the screen and it cracked a few weeks ago while you're we on that fishing trip you can probably see that so that's why the camera doesn't the camera still works but the screen does not but on the new Sony it had it does not have that exposed uh, you know, ribbon of cable, wire, whatever that thing is. So hopefully it will hold up a little bit longer. But anyway, uh, super stoked to have this new camera. So hopefully you guys enjoy the increase in video quality on the channel. Um, ironically, not gonna be using it a whole lot today probably because there is a bit of a storm uh, going on right now. So we are going down, uh, Josh and I are going down to camp at I've already forgotten the name of the state park that we're camping in, but I'll show you later. Uh, we're going to camp there. We got a campsite for two nights, and so we're going to get down there. We'll get our camp set up in the rain this evening, and then we'll fish all day tomorrow. Sleep, obviously, tomorrow night, which is Saturday. Uh, today is Friday. And then uh, Sunday morning, get up and pack up camp and then go fish some more before we head home um, sometime late morning or early afternoon. But yeah, hopefully you guys can see we just got a lot. A lot better quality camera uh, show off our giant banana palms those probably don't look as big on camera as they are in real life um, they're freaking huge those leaves are like six feet long uh, it's crazy Josh is almost here I've already got the truck all loaded up we're gonna load up the boat probably go ahead and strap the cover on it as well and then we're gonna hit the road and head down to Bugs Island and I'll see you guys when we get there it might be on the GoPro if it's raining I'll try to set the GoPro up while we're setting up camp and stuff like that. So, see you guys when we get down there. campsite got everything set up and it's not raining which is awesome so we're gonna go do some fishing
Oh, no way. <laughs> he was kind of just like out here. He felt like a lot bigger fish than he was. Signs of life. I did finally lose that hook that I caught those 11 fish on it since my leg. I got it stuck on a dock at Cheston when we went there. Had to break it off. Hey, how, oh, that's not your weedless hook, Never mind. So how's that weedless, that specialty weedless weighted wacky hook working for you? <laughs> I'm gonna kind of idle back in here and see if there's, see what else it does. Hey, at least I caught a prettier tree than you did. Look at all the bait on that side. I think we're on the wrong side. I think we're on the wrong side. So, yeah, they're popping on, yeah. Maybe go back a little further and come out on this side, on the other side. I mean, something sizable breached back in that like little mini cut. Holy crap. Can you see all the way back like in the grass up there where stuff like something big is busting? Like all the like in the back of this first little like mini cut off this side like all the way in the back corner. There was something chasing like in that, that one. <laughs> There's like no grass on the other side. It's still going crazy up there. Looks like bait on the bottom in this three foot, four foot ish. <laughs> I know I saw the swirl and I was like, surely that's. Ah! <laughs> Well, you got him closer to landing than I did in mine. Oh, they're getting chased like crazy over there. We are at 79. It was 77 something back towards the mouth. In the boat, nice. There is so much bait. Just, no, I mean, just like along. Oh yeah, no, he was. What a tease getting a fish like five minutes in ish. I mean, we hooked a total of three fish, so even though we only got one in the boat. <laughs> Reeling it back. Oh, I was like, did you just lose it on one? Almost got it. <laughs> 
officially any violation. Will you calm down? Hey, he's bigger than yours. Yep. Bloop. 30 horsepower seems like a lot for whatever that thing is. I mean, it looks like it'd be fun. That's what it looks like. Like an, like an, like an airboat, but not. <laughs> there is an insane amount of bait out there. He's got it. <laughs> I was just watching him, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> the quick release again. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of just watching him. I was like, it's kind of cool. I don't get to see this very often. Dude, that's what, when I was in the Ravana River, that's what it was like. Like, you just see him come up and grab it, and it was so much fun. I mean, catching little fish out of a kayak is more fun than catching little fish out of a boat, but it's still fun. I would say, yeah. So we've already, what have we caught? Like, landed two and missed like four total, somewhere around there. Quick releases. Quick releases. He, Josh is the master of the quick releases and get it to the boat and then let it flip it off the hook so you don't have to actually touch it. We are back in this cut. I think you guys could see all of those ripples on the water are schools or balls of bait fish back in this cut and it is just there's lots of small fish so far but we are seeing so much activity back here and it's beautiful a little humid but beautiful i wonder if most of the docks here are floating docks Seems like so far. i mean i know we're only in one spot but Come on. Oh no. Yeah. Which means I will retie that later. What? <laughs> I'm good to go and make food pretty soon. You getting hungry? <laughs> Definitely take some time to re-rig some things tonight. Oh, that was apparently small. A thousand percent had a fish. How are you not grabbing a wacky worm though? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> one way of getting fish out of the boat. I believe I have some in the boat. Pretty sure because the last time I needed sunscreen, I looked and I had bug spray on sunscreen, so. <laughs> I don't generally use it, but it's in there. Be nice if it was cool enough to actually enjoy a fire. Yeah. Say, let's do dinner. I said, I have, I got a souvenir. Oh. And I said, I had a souvenir. I'm cup in the water. <laughs> Considering that it's all gonna actually be a little while before we have a dinner. Fortunately, we do have food. 